Hey guys, good morning. So I am on my way. I am doing a photo shoot today and I'm gonna just film some behind the scenes like vlog content so you can kind of see if you're doing like a styled shoot with like a photographer, some of the things that you need to expect. We're gonna be working with a model and I actually have to drive so I'm gonna kind of take a pause for a second so I'm there. In three miles, going. turn right onto south. We're gonna do like a Victorian styled, almost like Bridgerton type of style shoot today and um, so she be pretty fun but like the purpose of me filming this vlog is just for you to like if you're watching this video for you to kind of see like what goes on behind the scenes when it comes to like you know doing a professional photo shoot this is actually a shoot that we're gonna be submitting not me but the photographer is gonna be submitting for like a magazine cover which I think is gonna be totally awesome and something just unique uh, I don't do literally like I don't do a lot of shoots anymore just because I get so like I'm so busy during like wedding season Stay in the right lane. so it's hard to do these types of things we're going to Montclair New Jersey that's where the shoot is gonna be the photographer her name is Veronica Veronica Yankowski um, Vera Luce photography she has a studio in Montclair so we're gonna be shooting inside her studio and there's like a entire setup for me so all I did was bring my like makeup and lighting we're gonna be using those like wigs I didn't need to bring my hair stuff which is nice so yeah all right I'll see you guys in a little bit hey guys I just parked it was super super difficult to park here because in Montclair there is barely any parking and especially they're doing tons of construction so it took me quite a few minutes to park and I'm here you can see it's like an awkward crazy looking parking spot there's the photographer there say hi <laughs> There's our photographer. <laughs> She's gonna be creating some amazing covers today. Woohoo! All right, guys. So here is the photography studio. It's an awesome studio in Montclair. I love this setup. Look at these red couches. This is you decorated so nicely here. Beautiful. Look at all those Buddhas on top. Love that. Gorgeous light. There's so much light in this studio. I love that. And let's go ahead. This is my setup here. So I already started setting up a little bit. I just brought makeup. Like I said, I didn't bring that much. We're gonna set up right here and work right by this natural light. I'm gonna go ahead and set up my lighting now. Look at these wigs that we're working with today. Oh my gosh, look at that. They're custom made. Wow. From a client of mine by a designer for Phantom of the Opera. Oh my gosh, that's beautiful, wow. Total Bridgerton vibes today, yep. total Bridgerton vibes. Totally. <laughs> so guys, these wigs that we're taking a look at, they are custom wigs. They're very, very expensive wigs. They're created by the designer that creates for wigs for Phantom of the Opera. So super high end, super awesome, luxurious. You can see, we're waiting for our model to get here now. So usually it's the models. Sometimes they don't run on time. They don't. You have to show up on time, but sometimes they're late. <laughs> hey guys, say hi to our videographer here. Tell everybody your name again. My name is Michael. Michael, awesome. So what is this cool contraption that you have here? Uh, this is a gimbal. Oh, wow. It's, it's, it gives a smooth motion when you're, uh, I know, yes. Uh, when you're moving. What's the name of your business, Michael? Uh, the name of the company is Michael Scopletti Films. Nice, and where can everybody find you? On my website at www.michaelscopelettifilms.com Nice, well we're gonna shoot some behind the scenes cool stuff today. All right, everybody say hi to Veronica. This is her beautiful studio here. Tell everybody a little bit about yourself and where they can find you. Sure, sure. So uh, my name is Veronica Yankowski. I'm the owner of Vera Luce Photography. And this is my brand new studio. It's a 1,500 square, uh, square foot loft space. And it's right in the center of downtown Montclair, New Jersey. It's been so exciting finally having a space of my own where I can shoot portraits, maternity, headshots. We're doing some fashion today. Uh, so it's been pretty exciting. 
Uh, so I'm so happy to be here. And can you tell us a little bit about the shoot today? Sure, so uh, this is a fashion editorial. So this is a shoot we're doing for a publication in a magazine and most likely uh, a cover story. And the inspiration today was of course Bridgerton, our love of uh, that fantastic Netflix series. And I was fortunate enough to meet somebody who's an old Broadway guy. He spent his career on Broadway and he's retired and he has these wigs he had custom made from one of the designers at Phantom of the Opera. And so he had given me an opportunity to rent them for a shoot and immediately I thought, you know, this is something I have to do now. It's timely uh, with Bridgerton being so, pop so uh, popular right now. So I was able to pull together a team, a model, stylist, video, um, hair and makeup, and uh, we're coming here today to uh, bring Bridgerton to life in a very 2021 fashion. Woo! Yay! Exciting! Thank you. Hey everyone, say hi to Tian. How are you? This is our lovely model for today. <laughs> so, are you excited about being here? Yeah, yeah. Tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm a model here for about uh, three or four years. I'm, I'm from Toronto, Canada, and uh, yeah, I'm just. Oh, you're the uh, shooting. I love to shoot. Yes. So. That's awesome. You're ready to be transformed into a modern version of like, uh, you know, right. Bridgerton. Yeah, like, I love the contrast. <laughs> awesome. Makeup is done and our beautiful model Tian. She's actually dressed and in her wig cap. Say hey there. <laughs> this is an interesting looking dress. Wow. What is it made out of? The fabric. Oh, I'm not sure. I think it's like plastic. Plastic. Okay, awesome. Wow. Wow. And we have our stylist that's sitting over there. We're actually gonna go and say hi to him. They're have they're munching down, chowing down, getting some food before the work. Say hello. Hey. hey, do you guys want to introduce yourselves for my vlog? She's like, I'm just <laughs> Well, you, you, you don't have to because you're eating, but if you want to say What's hi. What's up? Jones Zoo, the stylist. Tell everybody a little bit about yourself. I'm born and raised in New Yorker. I do a lot of editorial stuff, and I masquerade as a model on occasion. Nice. Where can people find you? On Instagram. I'm sorry, that shit was spicy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, Takaria. Yeah, at Jones Zoo. Uh, J O N Z U. Nice. Okay, cool. Thank you. <laughs> okay, guys, so we just got to the shoot location. I'm going to show you a quick little peek of it, but it's really, really pretty. I think it can really capture some nice shots for what we're looking to do with the wig. And now the model, she's already dressed. You can see she has her wig cap on. And this is typically, if you're doing a shoot, sometimes, you know, you are required to like go on set, which means like you could be getting your model or your, you know, models ready in a, one particular the location and then you have to like go to this set to make sure to touch them up change your lip color fix their hair put the wig on whatever it is so we're gonna go ahead and put the wig on right now let's go okay guys so we're about to put this wig on i've never put a wig on before but photo shoots require you to do different things that step out of your comfort zone step out right of veronica yep so when she called me i'm like okay i've never put a wig on but i can figure it out and look at this wig guys oh my god look how beautiful this is are you ready to put this on your head? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do this. All right, guys. 
so you see those pins that are holding it together yeah, uh -huh. you want to get those out okay because they will poke her yeah this one is kind of stuck in the wig though all right we got one more here hold this wig thank you and we're outside we're, we're we have a makeshift um we don't need seat. the head yep we don't need the head <laughs> We don't need the head, but the pins now don't. Here we go. I got one out. I, I, the, the key is you got to get them out without ruining the actual. This is not hair that I'm not styling. <laughs> there you go. Woo, we got it out. All right, okay. <laughs> There's Velcro, right? No, it's not for Velcro. There's Velcro in the back. Of this. Probably for when you're actually having a wig person like uh -huh. do it and Velcro it. Tell me if it hit, like hurts your scalp. It's not supposed to hurt, okay? So don't, don't be afraid to like win, wince or whatever. Like, Ow. don't be shy. <laughs> there we go. All right, we're done. Woo! Wig is on. Let's go. Wig Let's go shoot. <laughs>